New ESA data. In the years 1995 to 2019, the level of the Baltic Sea rose by 5 to even 15 centimeters. Current techniques make it possible to determine changes in sea level in coastal areas to within a millimeter per year, even when the sea is ice covered. Scientists using new methods targeted the Baltic Sea. The results of their analyzes show that in the years 1995 to 2019 the sea level rose at a rate of 2 to 3 millimeters in the south. Along the coasts of Germany and Denmark, and up to 6 mm in the northeast, in the Gulf of Bothnia. For hundreds of millions of people living in coastal regions around the world. Rising waters caused by climate change are a direct threat. In order for authorities to plan appropriate protection strategies, accurate information on sea level rise near the coast is needed. And such data has just been published by the European Space Agency. As our atmosphere and oceans continue to warm due to climate change, sea levels are likely to rise for many decades to come. The 2019 UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, report paints a stark picture of the problems we face due to sea level rise. According to the report, global average sea levels are likely to rise between 0.29 and 1.1 meters by the end of this century. This is the worst sea level rise projection ever made by the IPCC. Since the early 1990s, satellites with radar altimeters have been constantly staring at the seas and oceans. These observations show that the average global sea level rises by an average of just over 3 mm each year. However, the rate of sea level rise is increasing every year, although it is not the same everywhere. For example, along coasts, sea level rise may exceed the global average due to the complex dynamics of waters closer to land. Dozens of state-of-the-art satellites provide the necessary data to track sea level rise in the open ocean, but mapping the rise near the coastline is more difficult. This is because mountains, bays and offshore islands distort the radar signal that is reflected back to the satellite. Another problem is that the sea ice that covers parts of the oceans in winter is impenetrable to radar. To protect people and infrastructure, for example by building flood protection structures, securing harbors or raising dikes, we need reliable forecasts of rising trends in sea and ocean levels, said Florian Seitz, director of the German Geodetic Research Institute at the Technical University of Munich. As part of the ESA Earth Observation Science for Society Baltic Sea Level, Baltic Seal, project. A team of scientists from the Technical University of Munich worked with international partners to develop algorithms for processing measurement data from a range of satellite altimeters to obtain precise data on sea level changes in coastal areas and covered with ice. The researchers chose the Baltic Sea as a model region. Data from this region is particularly useful for developing new methods because there are many factors that make analysis difficult. These are factors such as the complex shape of the shoreline, sea ice and wind. At the same time, there are many local sea level measurements that confirm our results. Said project manager Marcelo Pissarro, an analytical method that works well in the Baltic Sea can be easily adapted to other regions, he added. To handle the hundreds of millions of radar measurements taken between 1995 and 2019 from satellite missions, the team developed a multi-step process. As a first step, they calibrated measurements from different satellite missions so that they could be combined thanks to specially developed algorithms. 
They were able to detect signals from ice-covered seawater in radar reflections produced along cracks and fissures. This made it possible to determine sea level during the winter months. Thanks to new computational methods, they also achieved better resolution of radar echoes near land. This makes it now possible to measure sea level in coastal areas and compare the results with local tidal records. The processed data was then fitted to a fine grid with a resolution of 6 to 7 kilometers using an algorithm developed by the team. The result is a very precise data set covering the entire Baltic Sea region. The data show that in the years 1995 to 2019, the level of the Baltic Sea rose at a rate of 2 to 3 mm per year in the south, along the coasts of Germany and Denmark. However, at the northern end of the sea, in the Gulf of Bothnia, the rate was higher at 6 mm. The cause of these discrepancies, the scientists point out, is due to strong southwesterly winds that push the waters north and east. However, this above average rise in sea level does not pose a threat to coastal residents. As the land here has been rising by up to 1 cm per year as a result of isostatic movements since the end of the last ice age. The researchers also produced a comprehensive dataset for the North Sea region. The sea level there is rising by 2.6 mm per year, and by 3.2 mm in the German Bight. With this data, scientists can verify their climate models, for example, and public authorities can plan appropriate conservation measures, says Dr. Seitz. The researchers also produced a comprehensive dataset for the North Sea region. The sea level there is rising by 2.6 mm per year, and by 3.2 mm in the German Bight. With this data, scientists can verify their climate models, for example, and public authorities can plan appropriate conservation measures, says Dr. Seitz. Thank you.